Welcome to Weave Between the Wines. We're your hosts, Big Casino. And Ursula, bringing you a podcast from two just normal ass people pairing wine and weed, highlighting local and affordable brands. We'll compare flavors, aromas, and if you're lucky, maybe even some terpene talk. We're going to interview folks from both the cannabis and wine industries, and we'll throw some surprises in along the way. Thanks for joining us. Now, let's weed between the wines. Rip and sip, bitches. (laughs) Good night, mate. What's up, guys? Fire. Fire. It's your host, (laughs) Big Casino. And Ursula. And we're bringing you another episode of Weed Between the Wines. Thanks for tuning in this week. We got some real special treats for you. Our first official cannabis sponsor for this episode. Uh, We're working with Apothic Cannabis Dispensary out of Isleton, California. Also going to be reviewing the McBride Sisters Collection Black Girl Magic Rosé. So good. So good. Uh, One of our favorites for sure. Ursula, why don't you hit them with the social media? Yeah, so we're on social. We'd love for you to come and uh, check us out. Weed Between the Wines on Instagram. No spaces, no nothing else. Just Weed Between the Wines spelled the way that it's supposed to be spelled. Uh, Check us out on Spotify, Apple Music, and any other streaming platforms. Rate us, give us a review, check us out. Share us with your friends. You know, uh, if you have a friend that you know really likes wine, Tell them about this cool podcast you're listening to now. Uh, if you got a stoner friend, I think we all do now. It's 2021, almost 2022. Yikes. <laughs> it's coming quick. Well, and then there's the whole part where the sun sets at like 12 noon now. So yeah, that's not cool. Can I just say for the record, fuck daylight savings? Can I say that? I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. We're not, we're not funded by big, <laughs> big daylight, daylight savings. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you can definitely say that. Yeah, no. I'm not worried about losing any of I'm our it. sponsors. Unless, unless a public cannabis dispensary is a big proponent of uh, daylight savings. In then that listen, case, are bad. Then in that case, this will be cut from the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we're, we're just going to start off. Uh, actually, speaking of the 2020 year, you know, we all dealt with the quarantine, with the COVID. One thing that, that we really like is seeing companies lift up others during times of hardship and uh, the McBride sisters collection is definitely one of those companies. Uh, we'll touch on some, some great things that they're doing, uh, empowering black owned businesses all across the nation. Uh, they're one of the, they're actually the largest black owned wine company in the U S and you know what, here's what I'll say about what we saw in 2020 once everything hit and we were all just in chaos, the real leaders stepped up. You know, and they did shit. And that goes like local leaders, businesses, they just yeah. Yeah. Showed and, up and showed up and made it happen and, and took care of other people. Well and that's why, you know, it's really important to us to work with these local companies, whether it be wine, whether it be weed. You know, Apothic is just across uh just a jump skip and hop across the Sacramento River from us. You know, it's definitely the definition of a small Small town, small company. They're they're coming out with some really good flour uh, in the upcoming weeks. Grown right on site, really fresh. You know, we we got two really great items for you this week. I, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, let's jump right in, bruh. Yeah. So, uh, what do you want to start with? Well, we're gonna go for the McBride Sisters Collection 2020. Hell yeah! It's a 2020 Black Girl Magic Rose, vented and bottled in San Miguel. Founded by two half sisters, you know they. It's kind of an interesting story. Uh, Robin and Andrea, they actually grew up like a world apart. Yeah, one of them uh, is from Monterey. Yep, and the other one's from New Zealand. And uh, they didn't even know about each other's existence until what their late teen years. Yeah, uh, I believe in two thousand five they reconnected. And and the craziest thing is. Uh, uh, you know, one of the sisters was sending out letters to to anyone who could possibly be this this one half sister that she heard about through the family. It's a long story. I definitely recommend you know looking it up. But the day after the other sister got the the letter, they met. They met. She hopped on a plane. They met. It gives me goosebumps to it's think so about. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we really like the story. 
you know, again, we love the wine, but it's always good to have something that kind of moves you and, and, you know, reminds you that life is short and, and to enjoy it. Yeah, that's pretty deep. I'm like getting a little emotional over here. <laughs> My sister lives in Australia, so living here in California and, and being so far away is, uh, you know, it's, it's it's definitely tough, especially right now without uh, traveling a ton. So here's our little uh, plug to say, <laughs> hug the people you love. Yeah, definitely. We love going down under, down to Australia. Oh, I'd love so to go good. to New Zealand one day, so maybe we can uh, link up with the McBride sisters and make it happen, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and if not, like you... Listen, McBride sisters, you're welcome to join us. But if not, we'll uh, we could record down under. For Either sure. way, we yeah, definitely yeah. appreciate you listening. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and your wine, yeah, we appreciate great. your wine. Actually, a uh, fun story they do. We're not going to touch on it this episode. Maybe down the road, but they have a Pinot, a reserve Pinot Noir called Cocky Motherfucker. And I think we should get that for my birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe for my birthday too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so diving into this, uh, it's called the Black Girl Magic Rosé Wine. I definitely suggest picking up a bottle that has the whole story on the back about you know what Black Girl Magic really is to the McBride sisters. Um, they break it down much better than I ever could. Um, this is a Syrah Shiraz Merlot blend. Say that 10 times fast. I don't think we have the time. <laughs> uh, this has a gorgeous pink, like peach color. Uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing. It's in the so glass. beautiful. And if you want to see how beautiful it is, check out our Instagram. Well, we're going to post some pictures. Yep. We're, so good. We got some, we got a professional photographer on, on the pay staff. So, um, we're definitely making him work for his money, getting these shots, these glamour shots for you guys to take a look at. And again, make sure you like review, uh, everything that we're putting out there. We appreciate the shares. Uh, this is coming in at 13% alcohol. Not too sharp. You know, you're not coming in with like that hot breath. No, but it, it is a little like hotter on the nose. A little bit. A little bit. It smells it's great. It's definitely sweet too. It's got like a strawberry hint. Yeah. Um, I got a little bit of like, you know, maybe like some oak. Just a touch of mm. oak on the nose. I mean, the color is just blowing me away though. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wilfred Wong, a well-known wine raider at wine.com uh rates this one at 89 he says that the wine offers a lovely richness and texture on the palate personally i think 89 is a little low for this uh, yeah i was gonna ask can you remind me like what that what's like a typical rate yeah i mean it, it depends you know nobody is gonna rate the same wine the same everybody has a different palate wilfred wong is well known he's been around for a long time um so generally he's he's a trusted wine raider you know, but his palate is different than mine. And so I may rate this one higher than you would or than he would um, just because I, I prefer the taste, the the texture a little bit more. Like I said, when, when you drink this, you get almost a little bit of like oaky butter on the end. For sure. And I think that's something that does that may may turn some people off of a rosé. Mm. And in my case, it, it kind of turns me on to it. Yeah. And it's like not too light. Like you definitely get the strawberry and a little bit of the sweet. It's not too sweet. It's not too light. It's not, I got a little alcohol on the nose, but it's not on the tongue. Um, and I'm also over here like, why didn't I, when I was 12, decide that I wanted to be a wine raider when I grew up? <laughs> like, I just feel like I'd feel so much more fulfilled if that was my current role. Well, and you know, it's a small market, the 12 year old wine raider. So <laughs> I think, I think you had a shot if you just put your mind wow. to it, but uh, that would have been hard to talk your parents into it. I fucked up. <laughs> This one's coming in at twelve ninety nine. Uh, we picked it up at Bevmo. Really great price point uh, for for very drinkable rosé. It is so good. I could I could totally see drinking this on like a nice spring morning. Maybe maybe not too early Hell in, yeah, the morning. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like around brunch. I could also see drinking this like watching a baseball game out on the lawn. Hell yeah! You know, it, it's just very well balanced. Um, not not too light. It's got a it's got some character to it, but it's definitely not overpowering like a bold red would be. I also want to shout out to our boy El Dino on the beautiful legs on this one. Just absolutely gorgeous legs. Thanks El Dino for turning us on to the legs on this one. Very good. Like fa- tastes very good. Very drinkable. Yeah, I think it, I could g- give this to anyone I know and they'd enjoy it. Yeah, and again, you know, we we kind of briefly touched on the. 
the uh, the grant program that they have. It's called She Can Thrive 2020. Um, basically, recipients of this program each receive ten thousand dollar investment and uh, supporting services. That's awesome from the company. And I located twenty eight recipients. There may be more, uh, but at ten thousand bucks each, that's over a quarter million dollars that they're giving back. Um, it's just a really great company with with good values. They're lifting up all the people around them. Uh, we highly suggest the wine. They're very delicious. I know I'm going to be trying a lot more of their varietals come uh, come winter. We'll get some of those reds. Yeah, and the cocky motherfucker. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, that that price point may be a little high for this show, but maybe we'll bring it in for like the a high quick roller. Session. Yeah, yeah, or high rollers. Like, that's like for the birthday. You know, I'm just you yeah. Know. yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, birthday episode is going to be a blast. Literally. <laughs> Anyways, we love the wine. Support black owned businesses. Definitely. And uh let's blaze it. Sip it and rip it, as you said. <laughs> we sipped it. Now it's time to rip it. <laughs> so, like I said before, uh this week is the first of hopefully many future uh segment sponsors. We're coming at you with Jungle Mac from Apothic Cannabis Dispensary. You guys can find them. They're located at 61 Main Street in Isleton, California, right off Highway 160. Uh, Isleton's kind of like a quaint little town in the Sacramento Delta. They got a lot of like cool little shops, uh, very good deli. Bomb ass sandwich spot. Yeah. McBootery. Check it out. Delicious. We don't, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Maybe we'll get a, a segment sponsor from the McBootery, but uh, they got cheese zombies. If you got the munchies, those things will satisfy them. All different kinds. Anyways, back to Apothic. Uh, you can visit their website at apothic.co. And they also have a store at dutchy.com slash stores slash apothic. Uh, make sure you follow them on Instagram at apothic underscore co. And a uh, big shout out to Nico for getting in on the action quick. You know, I went in there and kind of gave him the spiel, told him what we're all about. Nico had already heard about us. He said he's loving what we're putting out there. And I Thanks, think with, Nico. He he's a real one. You know, within a week, he really got the wheels turning. The label that we have on this eighth was actually not ready when we first met. So I came back a week later. They packaged all the eighths by hand, printed up these labels. I mean, it, it's really a small company. There, everybody's getting in on it, uh, and it's it's local bud. It's a local dispensary, and you're keeping the money in the community. So. We really love them. Check them out in aisle 10. Give them your business. Uh, great thing about them, actually, is that they deliver all over the East Bay area. Nice. So, like, all the way from, like, Walnut Creek, Concord, uh, Brentwood, Antioch, all the way out to, like, Lodi, Stockton. And get this. That's pretty epic. <laughs> no delivery fee. Wow. So, definitely check them out. Hit them with your business. They're supporting us. We'd love it if you supported them. Uh, we'll post all their contact info and stuff on Instagram. And uh, you guys can check them out. So we appreciate that. We're diving into their Jungle Mac. Uh, This is a sativa dominant hybrid indoor flower that comes in just under 27% THC uh, with about 1% CBD. So you are getting a little bit of that anti-inflammation. Is that common to see CBD in flower? Yeah, I would say you're always going to get a little bit. Uh, You know, some of them you will see coming in with 0% CBD, but... On average, I'd say a lot are coming in 1%, 2%. You can find some a little higher. I really just look at the THC content. Uh, if I'm going to worry about like CBD, I'd probably go to the edible side and really go for like a 20 to 1 CBD Whoa. to THC. You know how I feel about under the CBD. I do. You know. I do. And I think our listeners know how you feel. That's actually one of their favorite uh, segments. We've gotten a lot of great feedback. Um, you know, we're worldwide now. Uh, Thailand. Mr. May, Mr. Worldwide? Well, hey, let's not assume, <laughs> let's not assume the podcast is gender. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Worldwide. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, Thailand, UK, Canada, all the listeners around the world. We really appreciate it. And this was packaged on September 20th, 2021. You know it's fresh. I mean, that's coming fresh straight off. to death, Yeah, dude. that's coming straight off the plant, g- drying out for about two weeks maybe, and then going right into that packaging. It looks good. I actually love the design of their, their logo. It's yeah, it's like, like a half, lion tiger. Half tiger, half lion. So Nico explained to me that that's supposed to be like half of their side is the dispensary and the other half is 